Hi guys, Mr. Rice here, and let's go over the repeat loops missions in Cyber Robotics 101 of Coder Z. All right, so we've gone through the first four units all together, getting started, basic navigation one and two, and object detection one. So now let's try the repeat loops missions together, starting with mission one. This mission is just like the one from before in object detection one, only this time you'll use a repeat loop. Repeat loops are good for repeating things over and over and over again. So let's go through this mission together. Okay, it says, let's try to save on even more coding, introducing the repeat block. You can place blocks of code within the repeat block to make them run multiple times. Each time is called an iteration. So each time you're going through the repeat, it's called an iteration, the number of times. So right now it says repeat one times and everything in this blocks will get completed one time. So run the simulation, see what it does. It goes forward until touch. And then this is a turn right. And then it goes forward. But notice it stops right there. In this mission, you can see here, there are three turns. And so repeating one time is not enough. Change it to a three, press play one more time to reset it. And now it should go all the way through that square, just like an object detection one. So there's the first turn. Notice. It repeats and goes back to the top once it gets to the bottom. So it goes drive forward. Now it's a wait until touch one more time because we're on turn number three. Turn right, go forward. And that's it. It does the number of times that you want it to. You just got to say, repeat how many times you want and everything inside that block will get repeated that many times. So let's do the next one. Repeat it yourself. Now we're going to do the same mission, but they don't give us the blocks. We have to do it all on our own. So let's try that. Repeat loops with your own code. Okay, so we know we need to repeat. We're gonna repeat three times. So grab a control flow repeat block right there. And we're gonna repeat three times. I already know. So the first thing our robot does is drive straight forward, like so. And we're going to wait until touch. Right there. Once the robot does that, we need to turn right. So let's do a right turn. Remember, all of this goes inside the repeat block, not outside. Make sure it's inside. So to do a right turn, we'll set steering and we'll, you will set duration. There we go. Here's a perfect right turn for you. Power 15, duration 1750, steering 100. And after we turn right, it's good to say the next thing we're going to do when we repeat. So let's drive forward after we turn right. And this should be all we need. We drive forward until touch. We turn right and we drive forward again. And we have three turns, so this should work. I know it'll work because it's exactly the same as was in the last mission. So there's the first turn, drive forward until touch is pressed true, turn right, drive forward, wait until touch is pressed true, turn right, and drive forward. And that's it. You've successfully completed repeat it yourself. Do mission three, repeat until you do not. Now everything is twice as big, but double the size doesn't mean double the code. Use repeat loops only when necessary. Okay, let's look at this whole big mission here. Go around all corners, loop, duplicate, do what you have to do. Remember, the longer the path, the more it matters your robot navigates accurately. To make accurate turns, you need to use low drive powers. That's why we lower the power to 15 on our right turn or our left turn. 
Okay, so let's zoom out here and see what we got. Oh, that's a big one. Okay, so our robot's gonna drive forward until touch, turn right, turn right, turn right. And then it's gonna turn left. And then it's turn right, turn right, turn right, and done. So, okay, that looks like it's repeating this right-hand square twice, but then there's this random left-hand turn in the middle. So let's do a repeat just like we did before. We're going to repeat three times to get these three squares done, or corners. Drive forward, wait until touch, turn right. Okay, and remember, a perfect right turn, lower the power to 15, set the duration to 1750, set the steering to 100. And then after we turn right, we're gonna drive forward. Okay, perfect. Now, that will get us to right here. Uh, once we get to this wall, we need to make a left turn. Let's run the simulation and see what we got here. So the robot drives forward. Zoom out on my code here, turn right, drive forward. Turn right. You can see how tight these are. That's why they really want you to, oh, and that one wasn't perfect. It was a little too tight. That's okay. It might be okay on the next uh, time we run it. They don't always run exactly the same, but notice I got to this wall. Now I need to turn left. Wait until touch is true, and then turn left. And actually, a left-hand turn is the same as a right-hand turn. The only difference is the steering changes from a 100 to a negative 100. So let's just duplicate this code. So you duplicate by right-clicking and selecting duplicate. So the only thing that needs to change is the steering goes to negative 100. So when my steering is a negative 100, now I need to go forward, turn right, go forward until touch, turn right, go forward until touch, turn right, go forward, which is exactly the same as our original repeat block. So let's just duplicate that whole thing too. Duplicate. Notice the whole repeat block now is duplicated and copied down below. So let's run the code and see if it works. And zoom out my robot a little bit here. Let's hope my right turns are better this time because for some reason they got a little off last time. This looks better. I don't know why I touched that red thing last time. Okay, now I should do a left turn. Perfect. Now we're repeating the whole code. Do a right turn. We'll do another right turn. We'll do another right turn. And perfect. I'm glad our, my robot got all the green things this time. I don't know why I didn't last time. Luck of the draw. So that's repeat until you do not. Excellent. Let's do the next one. It's called smart repetition. So now we're going to use our friends, the smart blocks, which makes our code super short because you just have smart blocks that hopefully you already have created. Okay. Restart the mission just to be safe. Save your time in the next missions by using smart blocks with repeat loops. The robot needs to drive forward until touch sensor is pressed and then make a right turn or a left turn. I already have all of those blocks. I have a wait until touch block, smart block. I have a right turn smart block and I have a left turn turn smart block. So let's add those smart blocks to this code. Our, you add smart blocks by clicking on the smart blocks button. I said I need a right turn smart block. So we'll import that. Okay, it looks good. I need a until touch smart block. Import that. My until touch smart block just drives forward until touch. And I need a left turn smart block. 
So let's add this left turn smart block there. Closing that one. And left turn looks good. Okay. So now my smart blocks can get used in my repeat block and it'll be really nice and easy to read. So the first thing I need is an until touch smart block. And then I need a right turn smart block. And then I need a until touch smart block. And then I need a left turn smart block. And then I just need to repeat that. Uh, I'm gonna say repeat it. it. looks like I need three times. Let's see if that works. It's either two or three. I think either one would be fine. There's a right turn, a left turn, a right turn, a left turn. And then it should go forward. There we go. Easy peasy with smart blocks. Let's do one more. Zigzag your way through the containers. Touch the containers with your touch sensor to get valuable points. Okay. So now you'll notice we're stuffing containers with valuable points. Shouldn't take long. You'll need to fill in the code and set the repeat loop to the correct number of iterations. That's the number of times. You can save yourself a lot of time by using smart blocks. We'll do that. Okay, so looking at the code here, it looks like the same zigzag. Let's go forward uh, until touch, turn right, until touch, turn left, until touch, turn right, so on, so on. So let's use our smart blocks again. I know I need an, a right turn. I know I need... I know I need uh, until touch. And I think I need a left turn, it looks like. Let's add the left turn. Okay. Now I can just use smart blocks to solve my code. These green blocks mean you get points if you touch them. So we're going to touch them with our touch sensor using smart blocks. So I'm gonna call until touch, and then that's right turn, and then another until touch, and then a left turn. Okay, it looks like I need to do that three or four times. I'm gonna say four just to be safe. Could get the job done. Okay, there's a right turn, there's a left turn, there's a right turn. Notice when I touch the green blocks with my touch sensor and the numbers go down, that means my points go up. And there we go. Not too shabby. You've successfully completed zigzag. Nice job. So that's the first half of the missions in uh, repeat loops. Go ahead and try those for yourself. Uh, and then we'll finish the other missions uh, in the next video. Bye, y'all.